because the Albanese government has backflipped again on the census. <laughs> now, nearly two weeks ago, I don't need to remind you, but it was nearly two weeks ago that the government was claiming there wouldn't be any new questions on the 2026 census about LGBT Australians, despite previously saying there would be new questions about sexuality and transgender and intersex people. It would create too much nastiness, Jim Chalmers said. But nine days ago, they backflipped on the backflip and said there would be a question about sexual preferences after all, but there wouldn't be one about transgenderism. We talked about it on the show last week. Well, today, the Treasurer was on ABC's Insiders and he said that the plan was changing again <laughs> because now there will be a question on gender identity. <laughs> Will there be, in the next census, questions on both sexual preference and gender identity? There will, David. Yeah, we'll be adding uh, a new topic which covers uh, both uh, sexual orientation and gender. That'll be the first time uh, in the 2026 uh, census. You know, we have listened to the community. Now, we talked about this last week, and I said last week, Kel, that we should have the question there because I think for the purpose of collecting the data, it is legitimate. But how many times do they want to backflip on the backflip on the backflip on... The, like, the, the, the plan originally was to have the two questions. Then they said they weren't. Then they said, we'll have one and not the other. And now they've got both. Well, all this nonsense that the government's been through, they could have just kept it how it was. Yep. Yeah, well, listen, I'm, I'm not a big follower of any code of football, but I recognise an own goal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, 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 it is just weird that they are inflicting so much self-inflicted damage. Mm. I mean, Peter Dutton just needs to sit there. <laughs> while they punch each other off at the government benches. They're making a mess of it all. Mm. They look really bad. If, if I mean, I, I can't see a problem with asking a question. Accurate data is what it's all about. That's mm -hmm. just fine. But why get in a... Why treat it as being really important? What they've done is they've dramatised it. They've said, this really matters an awful lot and we're really nervous so we won't do it. Oh, no, some, some people are upset. We will do it. And this one makes, still makes it... Oh, no, we're not nervous anymore. We'll do this one now. It, they... They look like an indecisive government that cannot make decisions, cannot lead, cannot Not the run the Australian country. government, Kel. <laughs> hey, <but No>. they, <laughs> yeah. So they've turned something that could have been reasonably uncontroversial yes, in, in, into an absolute SHIT show. Yeah, they did. Look, um, obviously, the usual disclaimer, my wife works for Equality Australia, which has been pushing for this and was um, among, well the lead among the groups. We need, we need to give you a cowbell. Drew it to you, national you know, attention. I know. I should. You need John Laws used to ring the... What I'm trying to say is I'm an ally. <laughs> I'm an ally of the LGBTIQI plus <laughs> community, whatever the letters they are now. But um, so it was always going to end in... It, it was always sort of... It was always going to be a problem. You've got a very vocal, a very active group. It's a minority of people, but it is a minority of people for whom this is the most important thing in the world. I mean, Why if, is it the most important thing in the world? Because if someone was going around saying you're, to you your whole life that you are a man, and even if you think you're not, a, you're not a man, you are a man, and you have to tell people you're a man, and your documentation has to say you're a man, you would be ropeable. And there are people who simply feel like this is not it's who they are. It's just such a Marxist mentality. It's not, it it's really not, it's, is. It's, it's so there, Marxist. There, there, are genuine, there, are, no, there, are genuine, there are genuine issues um, and there are genuine questions and concerns that, um, that need to be raised. We have to make sure that, that they, all these procedures and stuff are medically uh, responsible and that we're not misdiagnosing people. But there are, without a shadow of a doubt, and I know them, there are people who absolutely know for sure and knew since they were children that they were born in the wrong gender. I bet they, you those ones don't uh, really give a wallop they, about all this the, stuff. The, the ones I'm thinking of generally... <laughs> the ones who are to, genuine... They, they, they think you have to commit, but the, but the idea that, you know, and they are not the sort of people who say, you know... Well, I identify as female, but I still have a penis. Yep. Um, but, th th you know, these are people who have gone all the way with LBJ. But, um, the, but the idea that you would say to those people, oh, no, you're still a man, is pretty but appalling. The whole thing's, and like Kel said, an own goal, because if, if they truly are... Well, so, but, but female well, or problem, male, the problem, the then problem they should was, just tick that box. The problem was, so the ABS set up this working group, to um, an adv advisory group, to tell it how to do this thing. I'm told, I haven't actually seen the wording, but I'm told that the wording of the questions they came back with was an absolute basket case. I also know for a fact, you know, in my bones through sheer telepathy, that this is not an issue Anthony Albanese wanted to touch with a barge pole during a cost of living crisis. And he's obviously had his fingers burned um, by the voice and people thought that he was out of touch for pursuing that in the middle of an escalating crisis. And he's learned his lesson uh, the hard way with that. Um, and the, the other thing is that this is... And, and 
by the way, uh, the intersex community is still very upset that they will not apparently get a question on the census. So again, you just sort of end that up... That makes more sense. <laughs> well, it makes more sense. Maybe, maybe, maybe it does, although there would be people, there would be people, <laughs> filling, out the, there would be people filling out the census who may not even know that they were intersex but, at birth. Well, well I've, 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 I've uh, always been intersex, Jeff. But, 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 yes, but, but is it... Given how much of the public discussion now, Lucy, is, is taken up by these issues... Do we not deserve to get at least a somewhat accurate idea from the census of how many people might identify as transgender or a different gender to the one they were born as? I'm, I'm all for actually collecting the data and I know that there are many in the gender critical community who are very much against it. I mean, why we need to know what a person's sexual preferences are is a different subject for me altogether because I personally don't need to know that. Uh, but ultimately for me what this comes down to and why I'm so confused by all of this is that all we've heard for years is that trans men are men, trans women are women. If there is a box that says female and a box that says male, won't they be actually selecting the gender of which they identify with and of which many have gone to the trouble of having reflected in their legal documents anyway? What they're effectively saying, just from my perception and looking at it, Joe, is that, no, actually, I'm not a man or I'm not a woman. The identity that I'm identifying myself into, I am transgender. So you're effectively admitting that you aren't that actual actual gender in the first Creating place. Third I'm group. very... So you should be very, very happy. Convinced. This is what you've been saying the whole time. No, but, so yeah, but exactly. <laughs> but all it does is validate that particular argument, Joe. So I'm just... Uh, what I'm wanting to say is well, that I'm confused by... Well, I think, I'm again, not against... I'm not against transgender people wishing to live the life that they've chosen to live. But what I am against is it being reflected in the law, which has a host of issues with it, and it opens well, up... Let me finish. It opens up a portal way for people like sexual predators and pedophiles to self-identify so that they can enter women's only spaces. Ob obviously, this is obviously, the big problem if, look, that if, I have. Obviously, you know, if and where that is happening, that has to be absolutely crushed, and we have to make sure that's not a loophole that's being exploited. I think that would be a tiny, But the law tiny allows for it. That's I, the I think loophole. that would be a tiny, tiny... You're not even allowed to question... The minute the, the, the of cases and there are plenty of there are plenty the of pedophiles exploiting plenty of institutions and plenty of loopholes already without having to pretend to be this a different makes it gender. Easier. And this is happening again. Oh, I don't, know, I don't know if it does actually make it easier. There are plenty of, of plenty of men who identify as men who through boarding schools and government institutions and religious institutions have been able to get, grant themselves limitless access to vulnerable people without ever having to pretend that they're a woman. Well, that's because they wanted access. But you're also saying think. that the women who are in these vulnerable spaces, like a rape crisis shelter, who's triggered no, by the right. presence. Yeah, of a male who says, I don't want to yeah, have biological right. men have... in my space. They're being told that they I th don't I think, matter, I, I think obviously you have to make sure that in situations like that, that there is a, sa that legally, there is a safe space. But we can't legally That there is a safe anymore. space for women who... But there just isn't do, do anymore, any. Joe. This is the oh, point. In I 2013, there... when the biggest fraud for feminism, Julia Gillard, allowed for, allowed for the Sex Discrimination Act to be changed and amended from biological sex to allow for gender identity, the laws don't protect women anymore. We saw what happened between Tickle v Giggle. We now have... Of course, have of course we have to, of course we have to say... Joe. Of course we have to say that if someone is deliberately trying to exploit these to get access to vulnerable people, be it vulnerable be it children or vulnerable women or whatever, obviously we have to stop that from happening. But you can't even right. get to that but, point. But, but, so, but, so you're saying, but you're saying that... Are you saying that Carlotta or Catherine McGregor shouldn't be able to use a female bathroom? Who's Carlotta? Carlotta is the most famous transsexual <laughs> woman in all of Australian history. We've lost the point. Like, um, like, 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 but, but I think the point... But I think the point... But if you're going to be... If you're going to be... Excuse me, if I may take Joe... If I may take the floor back... If I may take the floor back... If I may take the floor back, Joe... They have to use male toilets. If I may take the floor back for a second, I think this... Proves the point about why we. You can't we just take the floor back because it's an uncomfortable question that you now actually have to face an actual, real life, tangible. But that's no, what, I can but take the floor what, back that's, because it's my program. One per, but, that's but one that's person. person. Exactly like the person who is, is doing dodgy things. But this things is why. But this so is why we deserve no, to have not. data around how many people are identifying as transgender or otherwise. It tells us how big of an issue this actually is. I think that's why the question should be there, and it always should have been in the first place. And the government has opened up a can of worms it didn't need to by going down this road.